Hey guys, Philip with Trade Genius. So on this video, I wanted to discuss Digibyte. Um, it's a payment coin. We like payment coins and things that kind of address payment channels in the crypto space. So I think for uh, something that's worthwhile in investing or trading, uh, Digibyte fits that bill. Um, so I'll run through real quickly just some of the features. It has five different mining algorithms, and each one is a, has its own difficulty adjustment. So it has uh, two GPU mining algorithms, um, two ASIC mining algorithms, and then uh, it uses like a GPU, CPU uh, mining algorithm that's a, like a fifth one. So each one has their own difficulty adjustment. So if you're, if you're a powerhouse miner with ASIC, your difficulty will be higher to counterbalance, say, if you're just mining on your CPU, that'll have a lower difficulty. So it helps level the playing field as far as mining goes. And that's to kind of counteract any kind of minor centralization that might take place. So that's a cool feature. Another thing is that the transaction times on the network and the transaction scale, the scale of the transactions on the network are pretty good. They do, uh, right now, you currently do 560 transactions per second. Block times are 15 seconds, so it would take 15 seconds to confirm a transaction. They have 21 billion, with a B, billion in supply. So you're not gonna get the crazy high valuations like um, Bitcoin, <clears throat> and they kind of do that on purpose to kind of, you know, the more coins you have out there, uh, the less the volatility will be. So uh, that's kind of, you know, you want for, for payment channel, you just want, you know, kind of stability is kind of the, the name of the game uh, for a payment type channel or payment coin. And then the transaction fees are really low, like one tenth of one penny or on, on average. So so pretty cool. So with that being said, let's take a look at the technicals. But I, because I think if you look in comparison to the other alts that are kind of in this space, I think this one's been undervalued. And I think it's time to pop is coming pretty soon. So let's take a look. Um, this is a daily chart. So basically what we have here is uh, like most alts coming off of this huge bear market, we've, we've got this kind of this bottoming pattern and you almost have like a really big inverted head and shoulders. There's one shoulder, there's like a big head and then like another shoulder. Um, What's been happening in the space lately is whenever we get kind of these consolidations, we basically, if, you, if you're patient enough, these play out to the upside. And so quickly looking, this target here of around 750 to 800 would play into uh, the Fib extension of this move. So like the A, B, C move. And then this line here also is basically a technical level with price as far as where price kind of uh, did kind of like a really weird looking head and shoulders off of so which also coincides with if you notice the volume kind of tapers off once you get above that level so if so I, I think there's a battle up into here but once it can clear this level I think you know we might see a very quick move up into this larger fib zone and that would probably uh, be an initial knockdown area so yeah you could see something up to like the 1400 level so I think it warrants, um, I think this one is one of those where a lot of times you look at a coin after the big move. This is one of those I think you might be getting in before that happens. And I think there's enough, uh, it's been around long enough and there's enough interest in this where it could definitely get a move on once the momentum starts to pop. So also technically on the daily, you're getting really into some oversold territory. So I really like the technicals in that regard. So yeah. Thought I'd share that with you guys. I was looking at a few charts and Digibyte jumped out at me. And I think it has pretty good potential for the upside and probably for a longer term hold too, to get into this uh, 1300, 1400 level. Um, real quick before we finish up, let's take a look at Bitcoin. And if you look here, this is a 15 minute chart. And we are, basically what happened was we we're kind of in a, we, we broke out of this. A lot of the alts kind of just got smacked, but then they bounced back and then we kind of consolidated uh, into this like, that's kind of a bull flag formation and then we broke out. So we've got basically, at this point we've, we're seeing like one move up, another move up, and I would suspect we see probably another move up. Now I think a lot of people would probably look at that and think, okay, here we go, we're off to the races. There was this, this move here was off of the Fun news that Peter Thiel's fund had invested hundreds of millions into Bitcoin, but in reality, that's been going on for a while, at least in the fourth quarter of last year. So, of course, you know they're buying; they're not they're not saying anything until after they're vested because now they want to 
now they want to get the party started. So I will expect to see hear more of those announcements as uh, 2018 progresses. But uh, I think this is probably going to end up consolidating a little bit further. I think we really have another week of consolidation before uh, the Bitcoin price cycle turns up. Another thing too, um, and this is something I've showed you guys we are working on. Let's see if I can. This is our Trade Genius Magic Channel. But it's basically a price channel that works off of relative movement of price. And so we're kind of getting to the top of that channel. So typically, you know, if you're at the bottom of the channel, then you're looking for buys up, and the first target would be mid channel. And and then likewise, if you're at the top of the channel, you're looking for um, you know, basically down. And ideally you could be able to swing this in this channel like that. So this is dictating now what would what would change this is if this price were to blow through this level. But if it does that, you know, we're looking at this fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand two fifty is as big that big uh, where to go. There we go. Big fair bear fib zone up here at the sixteen thousand two hundred level. So if, if it really raced through that, then that would probably nullify the the, the channel f short here, which is basically where we're at. So we may press up a little bit more, a few hundred dollars more, but I'm kind of expecting this to kind of fade back down and we consolidate a little bit more this week. That's just kind of the read on it, what I'm seeing. Bitcoin does have definitive price cycles and, and it will turn up, but I'm not looking for that for at least another week uh, at this point. So just thought i would share that with you guys um we are still keeping an eye on this indicator this is on thinkorswim uh, because this is uh, new with the bitcoin futures we just kind of want to see how it's interacting but i thought i'd share that with you guys because uh we did a video on this a while back and um, so far so far i'm liking what i see with it but i want to give it some more time so anyway that's it guys thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if you will that helps us a bunch on getting these videos out and um, if you are subscribing thank you so much for doing so and i'll catch you on the next video thanks guys take care bye